Hello everyone, this is our top 10 bluegrass vocalists of all time. And before we get to the top 10, I'll say that some of the legendary bluegrass vocalists, the most influential bluegrass vocalists, are actually not on this list. I'm talking about guys like Bill Monroe, Lester Flatt, Jimmy Martin. So a lot of the early first generation bluegrass stars didn't make our list. It doesn't mean that they aren't great and that they aren't influential. But here's our list, and at the end, we'll invite you to tell us who your favorite bluegrass vocalists are. Uh, you can put that in the comments below. Number 10, Dominic, who do we have? Ricky Skaggs. He, played, he started out with J.D. Crow in the New South, and then he went on to form his own band, Ricky Skaggs and Kentucky Thunder. He's just able to sing really well as lead, and then he can sing really well as tenor. And of course, everybody loves it when he goes in that little yip. That's right. In the middle. And Dominic, which Ricky Skaggs song would you recommend for our viewers to listen to? I'd say Shady Grove. Number nine is Lou Reed, and I'll take this one. Lou Reed has some of the most powerful vocals in all of bluegrass music. He sang with Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver, and then he, of course, had Lou Reed in Carolina, which he formed with Terry Balcom. Lou Reed's singing, it almost defies belief. There are times when Lou Reed hits these high notes and he sings them with his full throated volume and you just wonder, how is this possible? How is this man continue to sing and not completely destroy his voice? Yet somehow he does it and I've seen him live. And the one I'm gonna recommend for you is one that I saw him perform live. I'm blue and I'm lonesome. Listen to it, it's incredible. Lou Reed at number nine. Number eight, Veronica, who do we have? So I think Rhonda Vincent should be number eight. She has really amazing vocals and she started her band, Rhonda Vincent and the Rays, with some amazing instrumentals as well. And one of my favorite of her songs is Drive a Nail to My Car. And Rhonda Vincent has been playing since about the late 90s with Rhonda Vincent and the Rage and she was part of a family band before that. And she's known as the Queen of Bluegrass. So Rhonda Vincent at number eight. Number seven on our list, Dominic, you have this one. Steve Gully. He played for many years with Mountain Heart as their lead singer. He's just able to hit these high notes with laser precision and clarity. And one of my favorites that I'd recommend is Ramblin' Heart. Number six, Veronica. So number six is Allison Krauss, and she's in Allison Krauss and Union Station. And she has, her voice is just about perfect. I don't know how it could be any better. And one of my favorites of hers, and of course she does many country songs as well, but my favorite bluegrass song is Every Time You Say Goodbye. Yeah, the, the difficult thing with Alison Krauss is all of her best bluegrass songs really seem to be sung by uh, one of her bandmates, Dan Tyminski, or even Adam Steffi, uh, but they play some of the best bluegrass, yet most of Alison's songs aren't bluegrass, but uh, Every Time You Say Goodbye fits, fits the, yeah. the bill. Number five, Hank. We have Tony Rice, and he played in J.D. Crone, The New South, and then with the Bluegrass Album Band, and he sang lead on just about every song. And he's very good at phrasing. Yeah, and Tony, uh, some of Tony's earliest recordings, he's got this really clean voice, but over the years, his voice started to deteriorate, and eventually, sadly, tragically, he lost his voice. And it was really a, a, a big loss, but you can hear the progression in Tony's voice over the years from the, the clarity and, the, and his youth with J.D. Crow in the New South to even the later Bluegrass album bands, his voice is starting to go. But we all love JD, or we all love Tony Rice and all the work of the Bluegrass album band. And Henry, what song are you recommending? Your Love is Like a Flower. Number four on our list is Del McCurry, and I have this one. Del McCurry transcends the different generations of bluegrass. He really goes back to the first generation because he played and sang with Bill Monroe, but then he's also in the modern generation of bluegrass with his band Del and the Boys, uh, where he plays with Ronnie McCurry and his son Robbie McCurry. Um, and Del, he, he kind of brings that harshness of the early generation of bluegrass, that high lonesome sound. I mean, Del McCurry epitomizes that. Uh, but he's got a smoothness to his voice, and he has so much 
character in his voice. Uh, and the song that I'm recommending for you for that reason is Get Down On Your Knees and Pray. And within this song, you'll hear the great range of dynamics that Del McCurry brings to a song. And it's, it's almost comedic. He gets so quiet and soft, and then he can belt it out as loud and clear as anyone. And a lot of people either love him or they hate him. And my wife's one that uh, doesn't love Del. It was actually our first date. It was a Del McCurry concert, and it was a miracle I got a second date. But Del McCurry is one of the all-time greats of bluegrass music. Number three on our list, Dominic? Dan Tominski. He started with Lonesome River Band, and then he went to play with Allison Cross on Union Station. And he just has this driving power to his voice. It's exactly the way he plays rhythm guitar. And the song that I'd recommend to, him, to you would be Blue Trail of Sorrow. Number two on our list is Wayne Taylor. And Wayne Taylor has been singing lead with Blue Highway for many, many years. I think they've played for over 30 years. And Wayne Taylor has this great ability to sing both the low notes with tremendous depth and richness, but also somehow he gets up to these high notes and you don't even realize how high he's singing because his voice is so smooth. He just tremendously smooth singer. I, He's one of my all-time favorites. I just love to listen to Wayne Taylor. I could listen to Wayne all day. He's a great singer. And what also makes him amazing is he sings with Sean Lane in the band Blue Highway. And their voices just blend together so well. So Wayne Taylor is at number two. And the song that I'm recommending, which really is Wayne's signature song, is Lonesome Pine. And number one on our list, Henry, who is that? Russell Moore. He started off with Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver and then founded his own band called Third Time Out. And Russell Moore has, of course, an amazing high bluegrass voice. He sang tenor with Doyle Lawson, and he's won IBMA Bluegrass Vocalist of the Year awards, maybe more than anybody else. Russell Moore is a fan favorite. Everybody loves him. He sings uh, with Third Time Out, which is one of the most driving traditional bluegrass bands out there, and they've played for many years. Uh, Russell Moore can sing the fast songs, he can sing the slow songs, he sings them high, he can sing them in that intermediate range. He's just a great, great singer. Russell Moore is one of our favorites, and the whole band of Third Time Out, they're just such great vocalists. They, they produce tremendous harmony. So Russell Moore is number one on our list, and the song we're recommending for Russell Moore is Raining in L.A., uh, just go listen to it and you'll hear what I mean. That high, powerful singing from Russell Moore on Raining in L.A. Before we go, we wanted to mention a few honorable mentions that almost made it on our list. And it's, it's I mean, we, we could talk all day about all sorts of great bluegrass vocalists. But uh, I'm going to mention Ronnie Bowman. I think Ronnie almost made it on the list. Veronica? I think Sean Lane. Sean Lane. Dominic? Doyle Lawson. And Henry? John Rigsby. And we could go on and we'll probably put some more names in the comment box below. And we encourage you to all include your favorite bluegrass vocalist. Tell us who you think is the top vocalist of all time. Uh, this is obviously a very subjective list, but these are our favorites. Dad, why did you say that? I'm what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Include that. Yeah. All, all, all right. Included. It's all right. All right, let's go. Number seven. 